Hi, this is Ryan at MyDividendGrowth.com. I'm going to show you how to quickly make a watch list that will automatically update with the market using Google Drive and Google Finance. You can see the tickers and their info automatically update when changed. To get started, sign into your Gmail account. Click the Apps button and select Drive. Here, we're going to create and name the spreadsheet. We can make it look good later, but first, let's put in our data. I'm going to make columns for the ticker, Price, PE. 52 week low, 52 week high, and percentage greater than low. In the description below the video, I've linked where you can find a list of all the other functions you can use to tailor your spreadsheet to your own needs. For now, we'll enter KO into the first cell at A2. Under the price cell, we'll copy this formula, and the cell will now display the price of the ticker in B2. We'll do the same in the cell under PE with this formula. And now this cell displays the PE of the ticker in B2. You can see by the 52 week high and low formulas we're entering that the language of these functions is nice and simple. You can use this data to calculate any info you might want. In this case, I want to see how far off the current price is from the 52 week low. So you can use this formula to subtract the price minus the 52 week low divided by the 52 week low. You can click to change it to percentage and to dollar sign. Now that our data is set, we can extend our formulas to other rows. Let's start with price. Highlight the cell that contains the formula. Find this little square in the bottom right of the cell. Click and drag down. The formula will retain its structure. We do the same to the other columns. And now, when you input any ticker, you'll instantly see the data accordingly. You can also conditionally format information if you want to highlight attractive or unattractive values. Let's do this with our percentage greater than low. I'm going to highlight the cells I want to affect. Right click and select conditional formatting. I'm going to tell it if the value is less than 10% to turn green. And if it's more than 60% to turn red. Now I know any tickers with green here are close to their 52 week low price. Let's do the same with our PE column and make any PE under 12.5 green. Now you can make everything look good by playing with colors and borders. And since it's Google Drive, it automatically saves everything for you. You can share, you can publish to web, you can even get HTML code where you can plug it into your website like I do at MyDividendGrowth.com. That wraps it up for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and check out MyDividendGrowth.com for more content and videos.